G'day Cocktail Lovers, as we approach Star Wars Day, May the 4th, as in May the 4th be with you, I think we should have some Star Trek themed cocktails. <laughs> I think we need to do some Star Wars themed drinks. I'm going to do three cocktails in here inspired by various elements of Star Wars and I warn you ahead of time there will be puns. The first one I'm going to make is a take on the classic gin sling and I couldn't avoid the pun this is a Qui-Gon gin sling. We make it like this in our mixing glass we put one and a half ounces of gin then we put one ounce of Midori green for Qui-Gon's lightsaber then we put one ounce of sugar syrup three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and just one dash of aromatic bitters. We add ice to the shaker, shake that good and hard for 10 or 15 seconds, and then pour it straight into a tall glass and top it with soda. And there we have a Qui-Gon Gin Sling. Bright and refreshing. The soda really lightens mm. it. This is actually pretty good. Try it. The Qui-Gon Gin Sling. Another May the 4th Star Wars Day drink. It wouldn't be Star Wars without blue milk. We're making it like this. In a shaker, put two ounces of white rum, follow that with one ounce of blue curacao, one ounce of a cream liqueur, or just cream if you want it lighter, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and finally one ounce of sugar syrup. Add ice to the shaker, shake it good and hard for 10 or 15 seconds to get all that integrated, and then just pour the whole lot straight into a tall glass. And there we have our blue milk. I'm sure Luke would approve. It's actually a fun drink. Ooh, the rum really comes through after you drink it down a bit. May the 4th be with you. And finally, let's do a drink for the dark side. I call this one the dark side martini. To make the dark side martini, we put two and a half ounces of gin into our mixing glass. Add to that three quarters of an ounce of Amaro of your choice, and then three dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Add ice to the glass and then stir that for 20 to 25 seconds to chill and dilute the drink and then strain it into a martini glass. And because we're on the dark side, I think a maraschino cherry as a garnish is called for. I think my skull martini glass is particularly appropriate for the dark side. Let's try the dark side martini. It's very reminiscent of a black mm. Manhattan. This is actually really tasty. It's a fun twist on a martini. I recommend you try it, even if it's not Star Wars Day. But, may the fourth be with you.